Hey guys, Joe here on the uh, Tom and Joe Show, and today we're going to be talking about the Bioshock costume. On our previous video we showed this glove, and due to some requests we thought we'd give it a bit of an update video. This picture here is showing what the costume is looking like at the moment. As you can see we've been working pretty hard on it from last time you saw when we just had the glove. The first thing you'll notice is the drill. Now this isn't a real drill, this is just what we're going to be using as a picture reference, but we will be making a movable spinning drill in a short upcoming video. The next thing you'll notice is these parts here. This consumes of the leather belts that are going around the leg, the leather patches going around each leg, and also the knee pads. The biggest thing you'll notice is the helmet. Now this is what we wanted to talk about. As you can see from the pictures, this thing is huge and this mofo is heavy. This whole thing is made up of layers of paper, fiberglass, wall filler, fiberglass, more wall filler, the list just goes on. At the moment it's about 4 inches thick. Here's some footage of how we started off. Now we used a program called Pepicura, which is a, if you don't know, a program which extracts game files and puts things like, say for example, a helmet from a costume that a character would wear inside a game and it will print them out onto paper so you can actually make a 3D model out of it. Now you can scale this to whatever size you need. We tried to make a replicated version of 1 to 1 scale, or what we have seen as 1 to 1 scale. As you can probably tell, we still got a lot of work to do on the helmet, such as adding PVC pipes coming out of the head, and also minute detail of also painting it and wearing it and adding some bits of damage and, you know, just, just around to make it look rapturous, you know? But as always with, I'm sure, every project, because we did have to change things as we went along. For example, we were going to be using these headlamp things to go on the uh, legs of the helmet of the big daddy. But uh, these were cheap five pound um, headlights we got from Amazon, but the problem was they are so cheap and crappy as we couldn't use it. So we're gonna have to improvise with something else as we go along the way. So one of these headlights we broke up and we we're gonna use as little parts details for the helmet. The cap covering the module is what we used as the camera. Now we, we had that to make it look like a lens and then that was then housed around uh, like a, a part for a PVC pipe and then which that was housed um, around the, um, well we made like a card kind of shape thing that stuck directly onto the head. So we hope you enjoyed this uh, small little update here. Um, uh, as I'm sure you always do with all your uh, other videos, uh, rate, comment and subscribe, you know, uh, subscribe so you get notifications when we bring up uh, upcoming videos on this uh, project, as well as um, giving us uh, your support.